Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel and this will be the last video for the MySQL Hacker Rank series. This will be the part 5. In case you are new to this channel, I have left uh, all the other 4 videos in my description. And uh, if you are following this series, so we are doing the MySQL problems. So in this video, we will be solving the leftover 7 problems which basically include the uh, group by and the order by statements and uh, some basic aggregate functions. So we will uh, solve all those seven questions today and by the end of this video you will earn your gold batch on hacker rank. So uh, for this video again you don't need much you just need a hacker rank account and you're ready to go. So let's get started. <laughs> So here's the first problem for this uh, video uh, which is employee names. So basically you have to write a query to print a list of employee names that is the name attribute from the table and employee is the table and you have to print the names in alphabetical order. So this is a very easy uh, MySQL query. Uh, you have to use the order by to order those names in alphabetical order. So we will uh, choose MySQL. Let's just start with the query. So select name from employee order by name and that is it let's just run this and there you go all the names are in uh, alphabetical order so you have all the a's and then b c and the list goes on and moving on to the next question salaries and in this the problem states that uh, write a query that prints a list of employee names that is name and attribute from the employee table and where the salary is greater than $2,000 per month who have been employed for less than 10 months. And again, you have to list those in ascending of employee ID. So again, you have to use the order by clause to uh, set these names in ascending order. And you have uh, two where, where clause. I mean, uh, you have a where clause which will have two statements uh, where the salary is greater than $2,000 per month and the employee has been employed for less than 10 months there. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Mm, so you have to select the name from employee and you have to use the where clause where now you have uh, two where I mean two conditions. So you can use the bracket and then uh, use the and to sort of uh, join them. So where uh, salary is greater than two thousand dollars and uh, months is uh, less than 10 then you have to do order by order by employee i think it's employee id yes it's employee id and asc which stands for ascending order and you end it with uh, a semicolon let's just run this and it is correct so this is a very easy uh, problem you just have to use the where clause to sort of like filter the statements out and again use the order by to uh, order them by the ascending order which was given in the question now moving on to the next question now the third problem states that higher than 75 marks uh, query the name of any student in student table who has scored uh, higher than 75 marks order your output by the last three characters of each name if two or more students have the same name endings in the last three characters such as Bobby Robbie etc okay so it is asking us to order them by the last three digits I mean the last three characters of the name so which will be BBY and here also BBY as per the example so in this statement uh, you can use the right uh, operator which will just limit the name uh, I think it's name in this table. Yep. This is name as the string. So it will limit the name to the uh, last three digits. So you can use the write for that last three three characters, which is nothing but the BBY here. So we'll just see how to approach this. So. Okay. So use uh, MySQL here. Now you have to select name from students that's your table where marks greater than 75 and then you have to order this by order by now I'm going to use this operator known as write 
Now what this write will do is it will check the name and it has asked us for the last three characters. So I need the name and then inside that I need the last three characters. So write will choose that. So in name inside bracket I can give three. So it will check the last three characters and then I want to again arrange it by ID. So ID will be in ascending order and that's your query. Let's just run this and it is correct. So that was a pretty easy question. So let's just move on to the next question. Uh, revising the aggregations. So count functions. Okay. So query a count of numbers of cities in city having population larger than 1 lakh. Uh, again a pretty easy question. And uh, this statement will go something like select count and count the name from the table city where population greater than 1 lakh so that's five zeros let's just run this and you get your output as six so it will just count the number of names where the population is greater than 1 lakh moving on to the next question fifth question which is query the total population of all cities in city where district is california so this will go something like select uh, sum of the population so, of the population from city where district equals uh, California and that is it let's just run this and there you go Again, a pretty easy question, only using the sum as the aggregate function. Uh, let's move on to the next question. So this will be our last question for this video. So we define the employees total earning into like using the salary in two months and a maximum total earning to be the maximum total earning of any employee in the employee table. Write a query to find the maximum total earning for all the employees as well as the total number of employees who have uh, maximum total earnings. Okay, so here again we can use the concept of aliasing using the as operator. So select a month into salary as income, which is uh, nothing but uh, the monthly income for the employee. And again, you have to group this by one, and then it is asking us to print the top employer, I mean, who is earning the max salary here. So again, you have to limit the result by one. So that is a very easy query. Let's just try this with MySQL and the query goes like select month into salary as income. Now this is your aliasing. We are giving the month and the salary multiplication value as the income. And what else do you need? You need the count of all the salary, I mean all the employees. So count star will do that. And this you need from employee table. Now you have to group this. So group by one, order by income because we need the maximum income. So order by income. So income in descending order to get the the SC yeah now the order by descending order will give the descending order of the salary so the higher uh, the employee who's getting paid the max will again come on the top and then we need only one employer so we'll limit this by one now limit in MySQL what it does is it will limit the query result to one or whatever value you define there so in this case we just need one employee so that will be uh, limited by result one and then we close this by semicolon and let's just run this so here we have some error it's actually months not month let's just run this again and it is correct so this is the max salary earned by the employee so that was a wrap for this video series guys uh, by the time you finish this series uh, you have earned your mysql hacker and gold batch and uh, if you have any doubts comment section is all yours again thank you for watching this was a great uh, 
video uh, series and uh, in future i look forward to bring more series like this again thank you for watching and uh, i'll catch you in the next one Thank you.